Perry Mack here with Four Wheel Drive Magazine, and we're on location in the Pitbull Rocker booth with Kenny Hawk. And Kenny knows about building special vehicles here at SEMA. This is our vision of a 1946 Dodge Power Wagon Wrecker. The Wrecker is what we call it. So it's a little bit hot rod, it's a little bit off road, it's a little bit rat rod, a little bit over the top. Yeah. So, I mean, you come up with some really cool ideas like the gear rings around the outside of the headlights. Uh, and where do, where do you get that inspiration from? Hey, man, we just like just inspiration from the rat rod scene. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of like let it let it naturally create itself as we as we go through the build process. So what can you tell us about the front end? You've obviously used a Warren winch up here. Yep. So we we produce a whole line of products. Our Hawk Off Road line of okay. products for the Jeep JK and JL. So what you have here is our new JL bumper that has been modified. Oh. It's been actually shortened and and slightly modified to fit and accommodate the front of our wrecker. So. We did that just to kind of pay tribute to some of our other yeah. products. The same way with the rear bumper. It's actually a JL rear bumper that's been shortened as well. 16 inch Bilstein coilovers the whole way around. HID projector headlights in the front. Um, lots of magic happening in here. That's yeah. what this is. This is air coming out and going in and squeezing and things happening to produce horsepower. Okay, so <laughs> this is functional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you have here is a compound turbo setup, yeah. two turbonetics turbos, one feeding the other, and they, as, as it spools up, it kicks into the next one and gives you crazy horsepower. <laughs> I, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So you haven't put it on the dyno, or have you? No, we have not put it on the dyno because basically we just got it running right before it was supposed to be loaded up, drove it around the block, put it on the trailer, and now it's here. Paint is barely dry. So we know it starts, we know it stops. That's it. That's all, all we right. know. All right. Hey, let's keep moving down the truck. All right. Sounds uh, good. So you built this for Pitbull Tires, is that right? We did. So the premise of our new show that's going to be on Amazon Prime, oh, yeah. uh, and it goes out on social media, is that we build these kind of vehicles for companies. Right. It's a promotional piece. Right. So Pitbull Tires has been a great sponsor. They approached us and said, hey, build us something sick that we can take around to events and showcase what we do. So what you have here in this door, uh, it was a disaster. Uh, so what we did is we grinded down to bare metal. We use a chemical spray yeah. that's actually a microscopic layer of copper ah. on there and then clear coated with a satin clear. Um, and then we did hand lettering on it, aged it, so it gives you that old patina finish. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. And that's what we tried to play with all different types of patinas all over the outside of the vehicle to give it that piece together, hey, look what we built out of the junkyard kind of thing. Yeah. And in the back, you couldn't, uh, you weren't satisfied with just a four wheel drive. Right. We want to see a six by six. So BDS sent us two uh, suspension systems for a JK. Right. Right. Because our axles were already set up for JK suspension. Oh. So this is a Ford nine inch pass through axle that was already set up with the right axle bracketry yeah. for a JK. And we went ahead and modified their four link suspension in the back. Our Sterling 10 and a half in the very rear yep. has the same JK bracketry on it. 373 ring and pinions from Revolution Gear, Ox lockers front and rear, JE reel drive shafts, all linked together to create a really bulletproof drivetrain. And this is a modified JL bumper as in the front? That is. Squeezed it down to fit the, uh, the proportions of our build. Yeah. And where did this come? Does this look, it looks like you designed and built that yourself? You know, when I was a kid, I remember drawing wreckers, right? And right. tow trucks, because it was, it was like a lot of fun. And I remember that, so when we built this, I just sketched something out real quick and handed off, like, this is what we're building to my, yeah. to my artist. And uh, he did the final rendering. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know if this is even what a wrecker's supposed to look like. <laughs> this is what I drew as a kid. And it turns out that regular wreckers never looked like that. I found this at the scra local scrapyard, laying in a pile of stuff, dug that out, repurposed it. It's got a big worn 12,000 pound wench on the back, and uh, we're gonna put it to use. <laughs> and have you tested it? Does this, is this a functional wrecker? It definitely does wreck things, <laughs> okay. yes. I'll, I will show you one other cool thing. We wanna come around here. All right, so what wrecker is com complete without a set of tools? Right. So gear wrench tools, always been a good sponsor of ours, a great company to work with. They produce awesome tools. So they sent us out one of their toolboxes, a tall toolbox. We cut it in half, flipped them around and welded them back to back. 
and then they sent us out these really awesome tool sets. So when they go out, the idea is that this is a recovery vehicle. If somebody's breaks down, we've got all the tools to, to get them back on the trail. Yeah. And probably not the gear wrench handle. It's not the original gear wrench handle. It was a good handle, but it wasn't a great handle for, yeah. for this truck. So these were laying in the back boneyard. Yeah. I snagged them up, welded them up, and back in business. Nice, that's awesome. Hey, Kenny, this is the kind of tire that every guy that goes out in the muck wants to own. Tell me, I mean, what a great choice, but yep. what was your reasoning behind it? Well, you know, we run rocker tires on almost all of our builds. Oh, yeah. I love them. They're on our tow rig that hauled this thing out here. You know, so they, they wear great. They're great off-road. This is a 44-inch Pitbull rocker. Um, we run them at like 10 to 15 pounds of pressure out on the trail. Yep. Tons of contact patch. I mean, it's, it's just a great all-around tire. They're mounted on these awesome Raceline B-Lock wheels. They sent them out raw steel. We, we scotch brighted them and did the same patina finish as the rest of the vehicle. Yep. Mounted them up with these VB Concept spike lug nuts. It's just, it's just a winning combination, you know. We 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 run race lines and these and these pit bulls on a lot of builds, and they, they hold up great. Thanks again. Awesome, our pleasure. We'll have a few links down below and a little bit of extra information for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe.